In this video, we'll go through an example of using the Euclidean algorithm to compute the greatest common divisor of two integers. So in this example, we're looking for the greatest common divisor of 310 and 710. And the way we're going to do this is by repeatedly using the division algorithm. And remember that the division algorithm is just a way of expressing the result of a division operation. It's a way for us to see the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient and the remainder all in one equation. So to get started, we're going to take the bigger number, which in this case is 710, and divide it by the smaller number, which is 310. And what we see is that 310 goes in twice, remainder 90. And the, again, the way that we write that is 710 equals 2 times 310 plus 90. So we've got our dividend, the number that got divided into, 710. We've got our divisor, 310. We've got our quotient, 2. And we've got our remainder, 90. So we don't know what the GCD of 310 and 710 is yet, but, and this is what's going to make this whole process work, the greatest common divisor of 710 and 310, whatever it is, is the same as the GCD of these two numbers, 310 and 90. So these two are the same GCD. Whatever those two numbers are, they're actually the same number. So that means that we can repeat this process. We're going to divide 310 by 90 and figure out a quotient and a remainder. And we're going to keep doing that until we get to a point that, where it makes sense to stop. So 90 goes into 310 three times, remainder 40. We're not stopping yet. We're going to keep going. The old divisor is going to become the new dividend. So this 90 is going to move over here. The old remainder, that's 40, becomes the new divisor. So the 40 moves over here. And now we're going to take 90 and divide it by 40. 40 goes into 90 twice, remainder 10. One more time, as we'll see. The old divisor becomes the new dividend. The old remainder becomes the new divisor. And 10 goes into 40 four times, remainder 0. And 0 is our signal to stop. Once we get a 0 remainder, that's when we stop this process. And the reason is because, again, the two numbers that we're dividing, in this case, at this last step, we divided 40 by 10. Well, the greatest common divisor of 40 and 10 is the same as the greatest common divisor all the way back at the beginning that we were looking for. So the greatest common divisor has not changed at all at any of these steps. And if we were to go one more step, then we would be looking at the greatest common divisor of 10 and 0. But everything divides 0. 0 is divisible by everything. So the greatest common divisor of 10 and 0 is really just the greatest divisor of 10. And the greatest divisor of 10 is 10. So that means that the greatest common divisor is equal to 10. In practice, what this means is that the last non-zero remainder, which is this 10 right here, that's your GCD. The last non-zero remainder. So the Euclidean algorithm for finding the GCD has us repeatedly dividing. And at each step, the new dividend, all of these red arrows, the new dividend is the old divisor. And the new divisor, following these blue arrows, the new divisor is the old remainder. So we keep shifting these numbers to the left until we get to a zero remainder. Once we get a remainder of zero, and that we will always get a zero remainder at some point. The remainders are always going to get smaller, and eventually they have to go down to zero. Once that happens, the last non-zero remainder, that's your GCD.